What up, y'all? We're back here on another episode of the We Don't Smoke the Same Podcast. Different setting, but, you know, it's kind of it's kind of better. This way. It's air conditioner up here. It's not as fucking hot. You know, it's summer, and I'm wearing a hoodie. This is the first time we'd podcast, and I just stare at this fool. I'm always used to looking at the other side of this fool's head. So yeah. this is, this is going to be new. This experience. is the ESPN fucking setup right here, man. Oh, the first take? Yeah, the, the first, first take. Yeah, first toke? First toke. First toke. All right, shit. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. All right, so... Yeah, man. So, uh, listen, man. Last week, I feel like we were celebrating uh, the fact that we're like, oh, everything's kind of starting to go back to normal. Oh, my God. The beach is open. Everything's they said, cool. July. <laughs> as soon as July came, it was like. <coughs> <coughs> Not even just as, as soon as July came, bro. We, like, the numbers kept spiking up. And people went, I mean, people went ham when it came down to going out. Like, what was the most craziest shit you saw that people Have did? a suit. Right? Have to, right? Like, like, <laughs> like that, that's the easiest one. You know, Florida, like, Florida never shut down. I didn't even see Vegas crack up the crack off the way see, it was. See, my last day when before the quarantine world shut down, I did the House of Blues Vegas, right? And I saw, I was like, oh my God, this is what a ghost town looks like in Vegas. And then it made sense. I was like, man, you really How long ago was this? This was in March. This is March 15th. Okay. 14th. No, okay, so I'm talking about like we had a period where. Yeah, between March 14th and and end of June. Where where COVID was, uh, where we were starting to go out, right? Oh no no no, March March to uh, beginning of June is we started going out. Yeah, like we need like re- this is the one time we decided to go out. Then we people fought. were going out like late May, but mostly yeah. everybody in the LA traffic came back to what it was, June. Okay, so did you have any gigs during that time? Nah, there's no concerts. Okay, so that's see that's what I'm saying. Like there like there's certain eh. certain certain things. Loki, that- actually wait, no, I did take a gig. I DJed for Fredo at the bar. At his bar, I played a couple tunes for a couple hours, and I actually did have a gig. Okay, so so yeah, there was like a sports bar. It wasn't a club. There's no dance floor. It was just, how packed was it? Eh, like less than a hundred people in the room. But see, here's the thing, man. Like, I, I, what I'm starting to wonder is, there's there's a lot of people that couldn't wait to fucking go out, and like you said, the the crazy. Oh, thing the was, first thing I saw people Havasu. jump on was have a suit. Yeah, like, like people were like drove, to, and then everybody came back with it. Like everybody came back with it, so people got scared again. And then, pro, and then you know, the next weekend came. Those same people were like, "But the club, <laughs> but I gotta go to the club." I don't get that, man. Like the fact that like that you're you're being put into an environment where your everything's contained, and like you know, you're bound to catch it again because you know, it's there's really like you said, there's no fucking uh, there's there's no uh, cure for this shit or vaccine, and uh, you know, there's a second wave, and like I don't know, they're trying to. Bring I think it. I think people question the strength of it. Yeah. Right. Because I, I like, do. I feel like this shit's like it's mids. <laughs> COVID is low key mids. I've seen exotic. I've seen polio. I, I've seen other shit go down where I was like, man, the motherfuckers don't. Yeah. The, this shit. I mean, people die. Yeah. Like I get that. But then it's like, you always hear people like, uh, like when I was watching Joe Rogan, he's talking about it's happening to obese people. It's happening to like if there's other uh, factors c- coming into it, right? Yeah. So, um, if like the flu wouldn't really necessarily take down a homie with a good. You know what I mean? You, uh, you hike and stuff, like you know what I mean. Like I, I mean, think, I'm scared of that shit, bro. I, I go I on a hike. I'm scared, yeah. but I say you're in a in a decent shape. Like I don't even do none of that stuff, and I still think I got the, like what it takes to if I got it to beat it. Yeah, like okay, so I, I mean, I guess, like, I guess if you told me like yo, Cairo, I got COVID, can't do the podcast for a few weeks. So I was like, yeah, you'll be, you're gonna bounce back. Like I wouldn't. Yeah, even, like we'll be back in May, right? I'll yeah, be, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, I wouldn't even cry. Like you know what I mean? I would be like, nah, fool, you're, you go for a hike. <laughs> I'm, I'm still doing live. Yeah. <laughs> like it's been like it's, doing turp talk and shit. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I guess I'm stuck at home with the fucking COVID. <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, turp talk is the shit. There's two turp talks though. Yeah. Morning turp talk, late night turp talk. Late night one gets two wild. different e zones. Yeah, not nah, lately, man. I finally finished this three day fucking detox, man. I had nothing but juice, like juicing for three weeks. I didn't even notice you didn't even have uh, your bougie beer. Oh, I know. Yeah, just, I, I, I already had two beers today earlier in a high hunger. It was my first time eating food after three days and just juicing. It was kind of hard, man. It was no solids for three days. No, no solid. I mean, I, I had to eat like like certain fruits like blueberries and strawberries to chew it. To chew it and yeah, not or, it. or cashews and but shit. Like, yeah, but you're chewing something. Okay. Yeah, like chewing something, but it's like not too much. I had to weigh the motherfucker no, it out. Tricks your brain though. Like you're yeah, like food. I had to fucking weigh it out. Honestly. To anybody that's fucking, Did you say quit. you had to scale your berries. Yeah, because you don't, you don't want, you know, you don't want to fucking overdo it and just fucking keep eating the whole bag. Can't you eat a whole bag of berries? I mean, you could, but to like too much or something is like it's not. Your body does, your body like regenerates during a fasting period. So the less you give it to work with, the more it has to dig deep into its own self. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know fasting, but like, damn, like, <clears throat> I couldn't imagine walking into the kitchen and you're like. 
scaling out some berries and stuff. I mean, it's the same weed scale. You don't eyeball berries? Like, you can eyeball <laughs> weed pretty fucking good, right? Nah, man, you can't do that shit with strawberries. Like, a strawberry could be, like, five eighths. Or is like, eyeballing a, a teachable skill? Or is it something you just fucking nah, require? You, that requires your hands, bro. Now like, I'm talking about eyeballing. Not even. Well, you do have to pick some shit up. Yeah, like, if you pick it up and then you're like, oh, this is about an eighth. I mean, you could still uh, somewhat eyeball without touching the weed. Without knowing how dense it is. You okay, know so, I mean? like, if I fucking open those... Some weed right here. If I get my, I'll do that. let's just say this. This, this was not planned. All right, this was not. Pl- yeah, this wasn't planned. All right, so if you eyeballed that shit right there, like, all right, I was. Wait, did you touch it? Yeah, I touched so it. So I could pick it up. Yeah, you could pick it up. All right. Do you want me to make my guess? Yeah. Are you gonna make yours? Uh, you want me to go first? Yeah, I would like you to go first. I want to say it's about two point eight. I'm gonna go two point one. All right. 2.6! You bet Woo-hoo. over. You bet over. Price is right rules. <laughs> wait. I, bet, I bet under. So wait, I don't know. I never, first of all, I Price, didn't watch that show, so what does that Price mean? Price is right means if you overbid, you lose. Oh. Well, You're still. closest technically by <laughs> point, two points, but I'm just saying, like... Yeah, but see, I don't know. That's that. I think that comes along with, like, practice, bro. Like, how many times have we been waiting? That's what I'm saying. So, is it, is yeah. it teachable? Do time, yeah, like anything else. I don't think you really teach somebody how to eyeball shit. I can't teach somebody, but look, this looks why? like... Why? Why did you come across the 2.8? Go ahead. Because, like, I've bagged up so many different eights and different bags. I've been in different uh, sessions when they were, like, out and that was a thing to do. And I was out there fucking vending, man. And I had to weigh out certain things. And I seen an eighth in different shapes, forms, and uh, strains. Because some an eighth in a fluffy type of weed... Might be a handful. Yeah, it might be a handful. Yeah, and, or like uh, the little berries might be even more. You know what I mean? It's it's it just really depends. Man. So fucking your breakfast, you can't get within two point two of guessing berries. I mean, I I guess I could have, but I was really challenge trying. yourself. Yeah, I, was I feel like this is your next Instagram post. Is I want to see like all right, uh, breakfast. Nah, eyeball challenge. It, it wasn't the most fun thing though, bro. Like I was, I didn't have like, it was more like. Cause during the quarantine or the the, the I guess uh, the first the first wave of the shit, I was uh, kicking back and my, my good friends at Craft Beer Kings, uh, I I got access to, you know to a lot of beer. Thankfully, shout out to them, and uh, I spent a lot of time recreationally drinking it. <laughs> I know Terp Talk. Yeah, Terp Talk and just I was going in. Oh, didn't you change Terp Talk to Terp Talk and, and drink or something? Or yeah, because uh, you were drinking a lot. You added something yeah. to it, right? Yeah, I I I, I kind of had this little segment where I reviewed beers. These, doing this weed, doing this these beer challenges, nobody asked me to do. <laughs> like, like what challenge? <laughs> well, not challenges, but you know, just like tasting them, like they're running out. So oh, yeah. I was drinking a lot, and um, you know that shit puts a, a little weight on you. And then after fucking three days of like, yeah, that's a, that's a fucking a... swell of what you know, like detoxing and actually not eating anything. It's like you, I did see the fucking difference of like finally letting my body get rid of all that shit and co- starting off with a clean palate. Everybody around here at Be Real TV getting real healthy. I'm noticing, man. Everybody, everybody's getting real healthy. I've seen everybody slim down. Everybody's, everybody looks like they're fucking, they're eating good over here. Nobody looks like they're overindulging. I mean, we could, man. Last week, we especially we, with high and hungry. Last week it was fucked up, bro. Last week, be real, came through. He brought, he brought this fucking company called Bart's Barbecue. All these different kinds of fucking. The full, the full run, basically, like the, the full run, bro. And I was just like, it was just way too much. You sleep after it. <laughs> yeah, that was a fuck. That's what made me go into the whole detox thing because I I didn't eat meat for uh for a good seven months and then I, I I was like man I can't I was like I need this looks too good I'll make an exception yeah. and it didn't it didn't stay down this it, past Saturday it out. uh this past Saturday was my boy uh, Zoo Wop Ghetto Zoo's birthday shout out to him uh we had a pool party I did, you know did a little DJ yeah. by the pool he had kitchen uh, the kitchen forty nine shout out to them cater the whole thing but they did a full run like they usually do it's one. barbecue or what oh man they did seafood barbecue what kind of seafood dude, like they the did one with king, the... they did king crab but is that shrimp. the kind of, the kind of style that comes in the bag and shit dude I'm talking about they did the whole pot like oh, the damn. whole jumbo pot like outside you talking about that red shit right nah with the potatoes and the yeah corn? with the potatoes and all that but it wasn't yeah. theirs wasn't like red it was like a, maybe a, like closer to an orange yeah because okay. they had actual oranges yeah. in there too like oh, they damn. nice shit up like bro you like that try to dude it was it was so good I usually don't even do that because I'm not like yo I want to do the work to eat the crab yeah. bro I broke one crab leg and tasted it and I said give me a whole crab 
Damn. and got busy. Bro. I never really been big on the on, on the whole. Uh, they do everything. King crab, mac and right cheese. Like had mac and cheese. I like the lobster mac and cheese. I want my my whole thing is if I had like. A lobster. I want a lobster tail, but like with like the perfect. You know what's on the perfect butter, but like make sure because you know how some people get creative with the butter. You could fucking uh. Gar- yeah, beyond yeah. garlic butter yeah. and truffle yeah. butters. Like you gotta go. Yeah, beyond it's that. the truffle butter. Oh man, truffle butters, bro. Like I don't know. First of all, I don't know why the fuck truffles are so hard to find. Like I really don't know. Like, they're you know, just expensive. Are they just expensive or yeah, are they hard to find? They're they're indigenous to like one area. Where do, they come from? France, right? Yeah. Oh, that's why? I, I didn't yeah. know. I didn't, never mind. Well, it's like champagne. You can get champagne from other places, but you want champagne from France. That makes sense. Yeah. It ain't champagne. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. It ain't champagne if it ain't from fucking France. Yeah. No, but, like, you know what's unfortunate? It's like we have the best seafood. Not the best, but we have, like, better seafood because we're on the coast. But for mac and cheese, unless you're in Wisconsin, for real, for real, like, you have not had mac and cheese. Like, well, how we got Chipotle's out here, they got mac and cheese, like, restaurants. What do you mean? Like, mac and cheese in Wisconsin? Yeah, like, they got... Is that because that's, different that's store- Packer State, right? Dude, yeah. yeah. But they got, like, mac and cheese, like, restaurants, like, and, like, shit just for mac and cheese. Are you, like, a, is, is cheese one of your munchies? Like, I like cheese. Like Yeah, last night I had a, a waffle press grilled cheese. Damn, damn fool, you be getting fucking. That's that's. You I ever paid had the, one, Ray? I, I paid the price though. I'm not. Wa- gonna, I'm not gonna lie. What is it? A waffle press grilled cheese. Like you just do a grilled, that, cheese, <laughs> a grilled cheese like you normally would. Press, <laughs> but the, it makes you just feel happier. Like it hits different. Like it just, yeah. It just makes you go. It's like it's like thin crust pizza nah, made from she, scratch. Shout out to shout out to homegirl. She made me made me the sandwich. She put like the good good is butter. Is she a restaurant or like? No, nah, it's the home. It's like the family friends. Okay. Like, I go over there after I trap I trap and do my shit yeah. and like go eat and they break bread. Like this is good. They hook you up. I paid the price though. That's like family though. It's like. What I, do you mean you paid the price? They charge you? No, no. I woke up today and I was on the throne like four times. Oh damn. That grilled cheese hit. Like it was like special butter too and everything special like couple of different cheeses it was super bougie yeah cer- certain things like that's what I'm afraid of I don't eat a lot of dairy I drink like uh, and when you don't have a lot when you don't have a lot of, when you don't have milk. a lot of something and then you have you try to reintroduce it or you making have it mac again, and cheese it fucks with, you no up. making mac and cheese with almond milk I don't know if people don't talk about this but it's fucking amazing I never tried that okay you know how people have switched more to almond milk nowadays? yeah I drink almond milk in 2020 like. Compared to like 2010, the amount of people that drink almond milk versus regular milk is like drastically different, right? But like nobody talks about like how they make their mac and cheese. Like you gotta use that almond milk if that's all you buy. Man, you get the right one with the non sweetener in it and everything. I do the, the test if it makes that finger banging noise. Oh, it sounds like good pussy, bro. Yeah. Just say it. Yeah, I mean, well, just say it, bro. Well, sounds- I mean, it, it makes that fucking noise when you go like this. You know what I mean? It just like it just if you go real fast and it makes I think sense. that's why I love mac and cheese so much. I think that's probably why it's like my favorite. What well, reminds you of pussy? <laughs> yeah, bro, it makes so much sense right now. Dog, yeah, can you explain? Yeah, it. man, there's certain foods, man. There's a there's a certain fucking connection, man, with that shit. Hey, um, there's a there's a couple of things in the fucking news that I saw, man. It's funny that Will Smith is trending in the news again. That that and it's about to be August, right? Yeah, we're getting into July, but we're already in August. Nah, bro, Fourth of July, Will Smith and Jeff Goldblum, bro, they're gonna team up. Oh, Independence Day. <laughs> yeah. No. I thought you were talking about the Jada Pinkett. Oh yeah, that's mission. what I'm leading on. That's what I'm leading on. I was like, I'm already on that. <laughs> yeah, but um, yo man, uh, about independence. Yeah, Will, well, what is it? Will Smith is in the news, uh, specifically his wife, and you know the story a bit more than me. What's the deal with that? Okay. Man? So allegedly, well, not allegedly. So um, August Alcina is getting interviewed with um, Angie from the Breakfast Club. And he basically openly admits to having a, a love affair for multiple years with Jada Pinkett Smith. And then right after that, throws in the tidbit that, by the way, like he has love for the whole family and everybody. He's like, I'm cool with everybody. Me and Will actually sat down and he gave me his blessing. Like, Damn. that's the quote of the fucking... Like, because he said, hey, you know how he he was explaining it from Did his Will end. Smith speak on this? He did recently, but like how he was trying to t- talk on it was like, they're married... But they're they're now in life partnership. They're not like, you so know, Will, lo- they're so not Will lovers, Smith but they're in a life up. partnership. So he said that basically they're, that that's what their relationship was. So he basically put their business all the way out there, if that's the truth. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which makes you think is like, yo, damn, like, can you be married 
but like you transition from being married to like a life partner where you live each with each other and you know business and everything but you guys have separate lovers but be married is crazy i don't know man that's a bit too much i mean but doesn't that shit kind of fuck you up because he he's a good he's a people look at him as the example of like what somebody that's a successful family man kind of looks like in a sense like I, like but isn't that still successful i mean it, no it is but there's a certain image where it's like he portrays a happy family and don't get me wrong the, they could the, still, his YouTube, like when he started yeah, YouTube. They could fucking still be, you know, a great mom and a great dad. But like the whole thing that I is think, like, there's a lot of people that try to copy or fucking get inspired by that structure. Yeah. That, you know, that like. That's that, what you think, like both, like the Cosby show. Yeah, that kind of fucks them up completely to find out that it's just like, oh, this is a whole facade. So like, I, I don't I don't really necessarily think it's a facade though. Like, but think about it. I'm, I'm not, not to be devil's advocate. Like well, I'm trying on to. On the outside, like you're seeing this and you're like, what? I thought you guys were like super, super together. Yeah. Like, Remember I'm, when she, he talked about about how he felt about her and Tupac. Yeah. And it makes you think, like, like, yo, like, what if they, like, you know, they were yeah. dating and then she was still dating too? Like, like, yo, it makes you think about all these could things. Could you be, could you be involved in something like that? I, I, nah. I, per I personally, nah. Like, I, I would never want to be in a relationship that's in the tabloids. I mean, not just in the tabloids, but an open relationship with, like, like, or, or, or even, like, <clears throat> you go, you go, um, you know, like, um, like like in that situation, you go get married, you have kids, the kids are grown up, then you fucking get the you know you're like all right, well, the the thrill is gone. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to be with someone else. You want to be with someone else. We're just gonna keep living together. I can't. I couldn't. I would. I'd be cool with it. Just now, like any how other, big but, is that house that you could be on the other side of that? My house? dude, though, man. Like the fact that like that's like years the, though, bro. Uh, like down the yeah. hall could be like a uh, half a mile walk. It's Will Smith money. You know what I mean? Like that's a big house, maybe. Maybe you know what I mean? Like. That's true. I mean, he, but regardless, though, I mean, but then again, he, he's probably there's some there is certain individuals and there is there are a lot of people that they are are perfectly OK with that throughout their whole lifetime. Do you think it's going to make you look at Independence Day different when you go watch it now? Nah, because you he, think that's going to be sold, in the back of your mind? He sold he sold me on all the roles that he had. Like, Shine. Huh? Or Bright, not Bright. Uh, Bright. <laughs> he, he sold me on. How'd you like the South Central version with Bright? Like him, the Orc, and the and the Cholos. No, no, I, I, I had no part of that. You didn't like any of that. No, I, I did not have no part of that at all. What did you not like about that? I just that? didn't see it. You didn't go. You didn't watch it. No. I feel like that's Man Mando though. You have to watch that. What? Or, uh, Bright on Netflix. His movie that he did where he's a cop, like Training Day, but yeah. he's an Orc partner. Oh wait, you're talking about the the yeah the the the, the blue guy, right? Yeah. Oh, I did. What the fuck is that, man? Yeah, I, that with all the cholos. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, I I don't know what the fuck that was, dude. That was intense. That that was. Is it still on there? It's on there. Yeah, I just saw it last night. I didn't watch it, but I saw it on the little thing, and I still laugh at it every time I see it because I remember that movie. The they, was, they're like, they got to watch the whole thing. If yeah. they're if they're still showing you that, that means for sure that like they want you to sell. They want to sell you on that. Maybe they had. Maybe they heard that in my phone, or I typed in Will Smith or something. Or I'm telling you, my phone's listening. I'm probably like. I don't know. We need to figure out this technology for all the shit we talk about yeah. to have like, when people talk about it, our shit come up. Right. That's the future. Your phone's listening. Cool. We're trying to tap into. Like, too. cool. Make me make me trend, bitch. Make me trend. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you're having a good time listening, fucking. I'm make scared the... to trend. Yeah. It's fifty fifty in life on in, in social social justice era of what we need. Like all of us deal with, right? You either are like, what do you mean trend? Like you're either make, being uplifted or put down. Making it or like trend. You're trending for a good reason or a bad. So reason. let's just say like you like like you know like your goal like you're like you don't want to be that viral person or you don't want to be that person that hits the tabloids tomorrow. No. No. But, 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 it's, but again, it's a flip of the coin. I always thought I wanted it to but be it's honest. It's a flip of the coin. It's either going to be for something you did that's great or something that you horrible that you did. So if I'm in the middle, I'm one of those people that's like, yo, like uh, I I when I do something good, I don't need. I don't need recognition for it. Or if I do something bad, trust me, I don't want nobody to know about yeah. it. You know what I mean? I'm human. Like, at the end of the day, like, you know, even with people I've dated in the industry, that's why I was like, we, you know, I've fallen back on serious relationships with people where I'm like, yo, like, I don't want to be in the tab. Like, I don't want to, like, you know, be yeah. that guy who just dated someone and that's with you forever and then that doesn't work out. And then your career, me DJing or whatever, 10 years from now, and they're going to be like, hey, Remember and the that's such and such ex is, so and so's yeah. ex. I have a, uh, another family friend I grew up with who's a very famous uh, soap opera actress, and like when Spanish she Spanish or English English. Oh. And um, when she's mentioned in the tabloids, they bring up her ex who's famous. All and this is like eight years past. Damn, I should have milked that shit with that when I dated that one girl. But I under, now I understand why she wanted to keep everything private. That's why I was it's like because it goes with you. That yeah. person's career now goes with you forever. Yeah. So like whatever, and it's like and it's the it's the honest truth, and it's, so it's like 
Um, that's why I guess I more admire dating the person who is like under a rock, I guess. Like, you know what I mean? Like somebody who's very private is like the best, best people. I mean, it's, I wouldn't say it's about like keeping, I, I do, I would prefer that, man. Cause I, for a long time, I, w- I thought that, oh, I would, I would want the, the, you know, making the tabloids and being viral and shit like that. But then I've seen the good, like not through my, not personally, but I've seen, the good things and the bad things of yeah. actually that being accomplished through people that I'm around. I mean, you mean you happen to be around the same, same the same, same people that are on the same man. level of success, and you get to see what being that open about certain things uh, gets you, and you know, in certain times. And yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I, I I wouldn't want it. It's not something that I'm chasing right now, especially if it happens. I definitely don't want it to be for you a bad way. Hope, you know what I'm saying? You yeah, hope, you, hope you hope that you don't want to be trending for a bad thing because nowadays it's like I feel that there's a lot of people out there that just specifically fucking follow you or fuck with or not necessarily fuck with you but, but they're there they acknowledge you and they're there in the fucking background and the fucking find me where's Waldo situation is waiting for you to fuck up like honestly to for, put yourself yeah, out there yeah honestly for like for, for, for me like I feel like every time when I have like more than like a certain amount of people in my life I get anxiety because I'm like that's why I block people they have no they have no fucking pictures bro and they get mad at me but fuck that bro those people are fucking going in there they're, they're like, watching I, this they're like I know he's on been fucking drinking let me go he's gonna say something fucking that's gonna fuck him up maybe yeah, i can record I, this when maybe. I, you gotta act like somebody's screen recording you at all time yeah it's because some some uh celebrities now they have bots so they have bots set up to the fact that when like say um trippy red goes live there's about 20 to like maybe 40 instagram pages that all like have bots that automatically screen record his lives and then they break it down, post it, and then they get viewership. They then turn that into AdSense, and it's a business. Like, that's Damn. how attention. People in 2020, one of the biggest exports is attention. You know what I mean? Directing attention for advertisement reasons or whatever. But you're going to always have somebody lurking on your business, say you're on a, on our level. Yeah. Where we're not like the big homies or we're not like the, uh, the little homies who are, are who are on, like, yeah. successful. And people are still going to acknowledge you on your level, and you're going to have those one or two people who are like, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting. Like, because when you do something, I'm going to be the person who, boom, I'm the <laughs> one who saw it. I'm the one who caught it. Damn, that's almost, yeah, that's. People just want it. It's like a booger. They want to sneeze to your level. So it's just like, you know what I mean? They're right here, and they catch you doing something. And yeah. Wow. Like, now they're up here. Like, you know what I mean? So, but then, like, in 2020, what's going on is like filming, filming somebody. Yeah. Like man, I like I envy the big homies who got the party back in the day. Maybe they don't have the weed as good as we have it right now, right now. But yeah, like, like certain but like, certain stories that you hear, like man, like when there was no phones. Like I've heard yeah, stories you, of yeah, these no fools. Camera. Yeah, I've heard stories of these fools like just like just kicking it with like crazy <laughs> ass like shit. musicians. Like 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 what's that one show? Hollapalooza. Lollapalooza. Lollapalooza. Yeah. What is it? Uh, Lollapalooza was a Simpson one, right? <laughs> yeah. They, yeah. They, it, one of them's called Hollapalooza, and the other one's called Lollapalooza. But they, there's a uh, there's stories that just like they're fucking tripping on mushrooms. All this. There's thing. fucking you know there's Everlast one side, there's Cypress Hill, then there's fucking uh, you know Funk Dubious, then there's Ice Cube. It's and legendary fucking, stories. Like and, and there's no like there's nobody there besides the step on fucking you know taking pictures or filming it. Yeah, that's why his shit. I can. That's why I can honestly see like it's an era. Though. Why his shit is really so legendary because he was involved in that that scene before all the cameras. Imagine like all the shit that went on before those eras that wasn't captured because there wasn't an step on to capture all that shit. Yeah, that's so that that special is so good on Netflix. Yeah, I did. I, I saw that twice. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It makes you. It it's it makes you. It's almost like hey, man. Like not that that culture kind of like settled down, but. You know, once once they talk about that '90s era where it was very violent, like the, all that shit got extinguished, man. Like, yeah. I remember that it's not the same. It's not the same era in California. That I mean, the gang culture is very much alive, but it's not. You know, what I mean, it's like that was a different time, man. Where it's like it was very like holy shit, like everywhere, and like the fact that he captured a lot of that shit, yeah, is legendary, man. You know what's crazy though? Because even if we get to what's trending today or like recently, like. Like, a lot of these things that happened in the past, it just was a different era. And, like, it was just a different time. And it's like, how long do we extend that? Because even with, like, with uh, Uncle Joey, Joey Diaz, and what they're trying to pull on him for about a conversation so long ago, which is about a topic from even longer ago, yep. which he brought up in the fucking first place. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, he's all... Like how, 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 like, again, he was like... A lot of the stuff we do now with all the things on video and stuff is like, yo, it's like in cancel culture. They're like, it's just like chilling, waiting, yeah, waiting. 
He, yeah, that's what, it's somebody's waiting like Goldberg just to spear your ass, bro. Yep. And it's, I mean, the thing is, like, he he owned up to it, and he's always been about, like, a person that's been accomplishing redemption, in a sense, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, that's like, a part of the whole story. Yeah, he we, had the guy he kidnapped on his podcast. Yeah, he says he, he went to his show, I think, recently, or the one before all this shit happened. No, he was on the Yeah, podcast. no, he had him on the on the. Yeah, shit yeah. blew my mind. Can you imagine that, man? Like, if you that's got... Like, that's how much of a stand-up guy you got to be currently in your life. I'd rather be, be like rock with somebody who's a stand-up person currently in life, uh, versus somebody who's never was uh, a criminal or done something wrong in their past, and they're not a stand-up person still to this day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you, you gotta own your shit. But like, the just the cancel culture of people who jumped on that at the opportunity, to, like you're not gonna cancel Joy Diaz. Like, yeah, you. I mean, you no. Know, what was that? That's I think like I, saying you're gonna. I heard somebody gonna, like one of the other comics was like. Man, he's like, man, I know Sam Tripley, I think he said it. He was like, he's like, man, come on, dude. I know nobody's sucking Joey's dick at 65 years old fucking at the comedy store for spots, you know? Yeah, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like, nobody. You know, but I don't know, man. It's, it's at, at a time like that, I, like he, I heard his recent, I heard him recently talking about it, and he said there was a lot of girls that fucking were what? in that comedy store at the time, and there was some that, that fucking... You know, left their fucking uh, their their girly girly shit, you know, at the fucking door and said, "I gotta go ahead and be one of the guys here, otherwise they're gonna try to stick a dick in me." You know what I mean, or yeah. some shit like that. And then, and then there's good, and then there was those fucking people that didn't want to put in that legwork. Yeah. And those were the people that ended up doing shit like that to get to, to skip the level to get to certain places. But yeah. I'm just, I'm like, if that's what people were, but who not- who's oblivious to that? That 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 was going on. Like I think that was a, like a joke. It's part of the culture. Like even I mean, it's movies, not. It's not that it's a part of the culture. It's just like not that it, it's like a part of the culture in yeah, a good way. Yeah, it's not a norm in it. But, but it was one of those things. Like everybody knows about that kind of stuff in life. Like that that stuff happens. And it's like, like I mean, you people. See, some people choose to do it. It's unfortunate people who get pressed about it. Like you know what I mean. That's fucking. I think de- you only get pressed out. on it though when like you have some, when out. you when you have something that like. You know, to lose, because it's like, think about, like, what are you going to do? What, what, what about all those people that played security, and then you had these groupies that are like, I'll show you my tits to fucking go into that fucking thing, and then they fucking go ahead and press charges on them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like That's oh. what I'm saying. It's, 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 all that shit is out. So it's just like, I don't know, man. You can't, you can't press, especially about, like, girls going after something, or even guys going after something. That's what, like, I like how Joe Rogan flipped in. He was just like, yo, a lot of, like, Mitzi Shore? Yeah. She, dudes were getting on stage. Yeah. Fucking Mitzi Shore. Yeah. Like, yeah. no cancel culture. Yeah. Nobody canceled those guys. Like, oh, you fucked Mitzi Shore to get that spot on stage? You're Like, we're canceling you. We're yeah. fucking can- Nah, nigga. A lot of people tap. Mitzi Shore was fucking the queen of comedy, really. Yeah. Uh, behind the scenes, RIP, but like, Yo, like, why don't we cancel the guys, like, for the, like, or the girls for, you're not going to cancel Mitzi Shore for that. I just think it's, it's, I don't know, man, it's, it's very real, so it's like, it has everybody on edge, and it's, it, it sucks, because, like, usually when it, um, you know, when you're doing something like comedy, it, you take something like this, and you bring light to it, in a sense, or make fun of it, you know, and, yeah. or, and it's like now, and that was the last fucking uh, performing arts you kind of had that gave you that avenue to not give a fuck yeah. and, and, and not, uh, you know, not fucking, um, you know, not have to worry about, uh, your, you know, what you're saying in, in a sense and keep it very Howard Stern. You know what I mean? Nobody's canceling Richard Pryor. Like, nobody's canceling George Carlton. Like, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, to be fair, those people are dead, dude. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, if they even, like, dead or alive, that's what I'm saying. You, like, now that you know about their past, hey, like, you're not going to cancel that hey, person. Hey, when, when, when is somebody going to fucking uh, bring up uh, fucking Howard Stern, bro? You know Howard what I mean? <laughs> like, like it'd be like, this guy's been doing it for fucking 10 years because he's done some crazy shit in the fucking 90s. And it's like, if that was the shit that was shocking in the fucking 90s during the radio, imagine the shit that went on behind the scenes. Scenes, bro. Like, what about those girls that were going up there getting hot dogs thrown in them or whatever the fuck it is, or, or uh, you know, for like free tits or for, you know, because they had, they yeah. had, yeah, they had contests like that, bro. I've, 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 I'm gonna fess up now. You know what I mean? Like, I've given out when I interned in radio when I yeah. started. I've given out free T-shirts to girls who have flashed me. <laughs> I, I mean, does that make me a bad person? No, it's. I mean, they do it at Mardi Gras. What are you gonna do? Punish all these? Uh, yeah, do we cancel Mardi Gras? Yeah, I know. If they cancel Marty, I don't want to speak that in. I never sense. even got to experience. I it, haven't though. been to New Orleans yet. I want to. I want to go there, but like I want to wear my Street, hat there. Bro. So like, you know what I mean? Like Canal I blend Street. in. Go it's Canal there. Street, the one uh, that, mm-hmm. the you know, what I mean, the, all the fucking uh, Cajun and all that. Crazy. Yeah, that and all of Currency's raps are about Canal Street. So I want to go to fucking Canal Street. What? I mean, it, it, they have a Jet Life store on Canal Street. You know what I mean? Is that like their cookies? 
That's like they're just that's, that's like their hate street. I guess that's like our. Uh, I don't know. There's so many streets out here. Like, it's Melrose. It's like their yeah but yeah. It's like their Melrose or their. I didn't even know, but it's not a dispensary, is it? What? The Jet Store? The Jet Store is not oh, a dispensary. Okay, so it's just that would have been tight. No, and then, yeah, shout out to Andretti OG. Yeah. Uh, fucking spit his weed. Oh, is that what it is? That's out here. I, okay, I was wondering. I was like, yo, Andretti OG. I brought my culotto. Shout out to Yuck Mouth. There's a fucking, you know, a lot of talking, a lot of people think it's just a meme thing where you see that there's a drought and then prices are going up in weed, but it's, I mean, what? it. It's fucking happening, fam. The, the, the prices have gone up on weed, man. Yeah, I think uh, quarantine mixed with drought mixed with uh, inflation equals 2020 prices, right? Because everything, uh, yeah, you're is the qual is this the quality you're gonna pay for? Even if you go to a dispensary or club right now for the top shelf stuff, you already were used to paying. Fifty-five, maybe sixty and eight. Like the actually, the actual cookies, uh, yeah. green thumbs. Yeah. I think uh, what's the highest at green thumbs? I think it's like seventy dollars, maybe or yeah, like but sixty-five. And that's probably that was before post pre COVID. <laughs> pre COVID. I mean, so you know, I think even even at that, like, even at that, like <coughs> the cheapest <coughs> was about. Fifty-five, maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's around that in LA. That was fair. If you were paying uh, under forty in a dispensary, you weren't getting top shelf. You were getting good weed, but you weren't getting exotic. So, I think exotic is just kind of the category where the prices have gone up the most. I mean, that's what everybody wants because I don't see anybody asking for certain strains like. You know, everybody before they wanted to get fucked up, they would look for an OG. Some people who like flavor, they would go for a tangy. Yeah. But now that there's so much fucking strains out there and so many fucking different things, I just feel that like all that's in demand because people want to want to be more about smoking um the exclusive shit as compared to the stuff that everybody has. You know. Yeah, definitely branded. Um, and then the trickle down effect though, like, so everyone kind of in the club was used to paying that price, right? On the in the illicit market or in the sesh world, as we, we kind of look at it, like right, yeah, like you were paying forty for a top, yeah, like that was really at forty, forty five maybe at the most, yeah, at the most, you know what I mean for flour, you know what I mean. So now you got, you know, shit, fifty, fifty, fifty minimum for indoor, like exotic indoor, yeah, fifty and eight. Where it's like dispensary club prices now in the, in the... 60 to 70. Yeah, definitely, yeah. 60 to 70, depending on how exclusive or... or um, Sometimes that's what... It's all about va- being verified product, really, though. Like, if you could verify... Because there's a lot of bad weed out there. I mean, because everybody understands the meme now with, like, oh, you got a runs bag, you yeah. know what I mean? Or you got a you got a cookies bag. Like, yeah. as you know, we all, we, we all know that there's knockoff packaging and stuff, but when you actually get sourced... Uh, even though you know what I mean, if you get away from branded stuff and you just like, oh, if you want to pick up a, a wedding cake or you want to pick up a, a biscotti indoor pack, you know yeah. what what used to cost you around like two to twenty two. If you paid twenty two for an indoor pack pre COVID, yeah, you were like tight. Yeah, you were tight. At, yeah, you were tight. Hey, you were like, yo, this has been my boy for so fucking long. You charging me twenty two for some indoor man? We do we want a pack? I know. Blah, blah, blah. And now it's like, yo. You got packs for twenty two. Yeah. I'll take twenty. Yeah, people will cash out. People will, uh, will put their whole fucking life yeah, savings I, into that shit. I, I'll, I'll cash you out, bro, because it just doesn't exist anymore. And then so now, now the people are prices going up ten, twenty dollars per eighth. Do you think the pri- the prices are going to continue to skyrocket now that we're going to? Oh be yeah, to lo- be with the te- up with the here? temperature of what's going on in the world still outside. You know, we're about to shut down again, possibly. <laughs> Seems like it. Yeah, right. If we stock, if we stock up, right, and I, I feel like you have to have a stash. Like we talked about this on the last episode about this fool in his end of the world kid. So, oh, it's okay, buddy. Get you hit, hit a little of that Peter Pan. I know, right? Hit a little Peter Pan. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta take the really, really big hits. I was on my Instagram doing the cush-up challenge, coughing like that. You miss coughing like that, man? Remember when every fucking hit made you cough like that? You, uh, There was a time in the past where every episode we walked into, me and you both know one of us or the other one was about to get wrecked. Yeah, that was Like, up. when we say wrecked, we mean, like, leveled. I'm talking about gram dabs, multiple gram dabs. Yep. Wow, dude, we made you do a lot. Eat edibles. 
I, I, I feel like this is a I, safe place. I think me and you both understand we're gonna roll two at this point. Yeah, it's um, it's it's a bit to get this. It's a bit to to get used to. I mean, Eddie's still uh, gonna join us now that he has nothing. Shout but out to time. Side Dick Eddie. Now that he has nothing but time, I texted him earlier. He was like, "Well, now that we're closing up, I got nothing but time, dog." <laughs> So yeah, a lot like, of episodes in. Strip clubs are closing down again? Yeah, strip Damn. clubs are closing down again. Is it, everything's closing down, man. The, I, I, they're going to close down the parks again, bro. We're not going to be able to go for hikes. Do you think people are going to go bullshit. back to riding? Nah. You can't, bro. I drove through downtown to get my lunch. Yeah. Like, I drove through, uh, you know, driving to Staples. I took a little a couple back streets through the, uh, yeah. the fashion district to see shit, 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 shit smashed out still. Like, yeah. wood up. It's crazy. Like, that shit was just a couple days ago. Like, people, like, that's less than 100 days ago. You know what I mean? Less than 100 it, days, it feels like a couple days to me. It looks like um, some places look uh, boarded up. Like, they're getting ready for an apocalypse type shit. Or there's been a massive earthquake or something like that. It's I like just, the people who board up and then let artists paint on them and do murals and stuff. And yeah. I, I feel like that's a safe option for people. It's like, yo, you won't break into my store if you appreciate art. Or somebody would just fucking put it in there. They'd be like, black owned. Raza owns this business. You know what I mean? Like, like they're like, please don't vandalize this. But yeah. it's, it's, um, I don't know, man. I hope people don't go back to rioting, man. It's, they get, they getting a lot of stuff done. Like the whole, uh, what's that big thing that hit the news recent? Uh, that, that, uh, uh, Epstein's assistant. Yeah, she got arrested. She got arrested, man. And it's, uh, I couldn't watch that documentary. You, did you try? That, that sounds like the ultimate high blown. If, if we pay- in a drought, if I'm paying fucking upwards to fucking fifty to sixty dollars an eighth, you think I want to watch a- something that's gonna blow my fucking high? That's true. I don't fucking gamble it. You know, and it's funny. Like I, I have no problem with saying this, but I'm big pussy when it comes to scary movies. Like I don't like that, scary that movies. adrenaline rush can kill. I could take a gram dab right now, and you put on something that I find scary. Like either my body's gonna shut down on its own, or my fucking I'm gonna kick the high super quick and be like, nah, this is not it. This shit kill my high. So that Jeffrey Epstein, why would I? Why, like, who gets money off of that? That's true. That's the whole point. Like, it just makes me sick. I don't know, but it's kind of good to see the the see after seeing it, uh, understanding the situation a bit more. Do you? Is that understanding it though? Yeah, because uh, you you start to realize that there's a lot of people that, that weren't held accountable for uh, their actions, and one of those people being that uh, girl. Yeah, his assistant, who happened to be the one that would. I mean. Come on, if you're trying to lure, you know, like a female, you know, that's you're trying to lure like a, a young female at that point, she's going to be more likely to trust another female. Yeah, so she's like, like she's, right she's, she's coordinating. Woman, yeah, yeah she's coordinating. so she she would be the one to be like, oh, you know what, Epstein wants you to do this, or Epstein wants to, uh, yeah, I can get you somebody that can yeah. make you a bigger artist or make you a bigger, uh, you know, whatever you wanted to be, an actress. And they finally got, but the, my thing is, what's going to happen to her? She's going to get covid She's gonna fucking die from COVID before she goes to court. Oh man! If she hangs herself, you know what I mean. She gets a visit from fucking Hillary and Bill. You know I, what I'm saying? I feel like if you go to Vegas, you might get good odds if you put in a bet now. Do they bet on shit? Does everything? When I say, look at me, everything. You could bet on anything. In Where Vegas. do you bet for that kind of shit? Can you bet on the WWE for that? Like you, could, you go to the Flamingo and do you that? can't bet on WWE. It's entertainment. Oh. It's, I don't think you can. Actually, you know what? Then I can't say everything if you can't bet on that. Yeah, I was like, because I would like to, be, you know, like you know it. You call up your favorite restaurant, home, you're like, yo, man, what's this? What Insider you? trading. I don't think that's the play. I'm doing good on stocks now. Shout out to Martha Stewart. You know what I mean? You invested in Martha Stewart stocks? Nah, I started doing stocks. Like, so everybody has like a 30 day fitness challenge. Uh, shit, like you do healthy shit. You did yeah. detox for, for detox for three days. Yeah. Uh, I I gave myself like 30 days to see like my first try at stocks because they on Cash App. I found out you could buy Bitcoin in stocks and. Slowly but surely, I just started trying to, like, actually give a fuck about it. Yeah. Waking up early, it changed my sleep schedule. Like, I wasn't playing video games. I haven't been streaming on Twitch, sorry, but, you know what I mean? I'm about to start streaming me doing the stock shit in the morning because I'm up. You yeah. know what I mean? And there's not a lot of entertaining shit to watch stocks. I, I can entertain you, smoke weed with you, and we can yeah. talk stocks. Because when I'm blown, I can still do numbers. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can still do numbers, but, hey, man, I wanted to see if I could get past $1,000 in stocks. Before um, you, and I did you. on the, today's the thirty first day. Hey, so I, I yeah I hit my over first thousand. So I'm in the green too at a profit. Like and I just invested in things that I like. I, I hear about. I know about. I don't know. I don't. I don't trust Forbes. I look at Forbes like it's billboard because it's like oh you're paying for advertisement for your 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 stock. Like yeah, all this right. shit that's information about there is like oh this is all paid publicity. So I don't look at that. 
And then it's kind of hard. You just got to actually watch everything live and, like, be ADD in the morning. But I like it. It's fun. It's on Cash App. And, um, yeah, man, I, I'm actually hit my goal. So I'm actually, like, really stoked about it. So I'm like, yo, I have a goal for now, the end of this month, yeah. to, to, to see what money I can make on my money. And, yeah, I invested in things I just know about, like Tesla. I knew that was going to be a good stock. That shit, I invested at, like, 920. You and can that, buy Bitcoin and Tesla? You can buy Bitcoin. No, you can buy Bitcoin separately from stock. I bought stock in Tesla, oh. and then I, I bought some Bitcoin, but I already sold it. Um, it just goes up. You gotta watch the tracker, and you can like day trade if you want. Yeah. But they got this new shit called Robinhood. That's what like this, this is really sad. But there's a lot of college students getting addicted to the stock shit right now. Really? It's gambling. It's just like betting. You know what I mean? You put money in the thing. It's really just gambling, but it's like sophisticated enough that if I told you I was stock trading, you'd be like, hey, "I'm proud of you, dog." Like, but if I said, "Hey, dog, I've been hitting the horses," you know what yeah. I mean? Every day, or I've been going to Morongo every day, and I've been doing good. I've been doing good. If I told you, "Hey, I've been at Morongo for 12 hours for the yeah. like." But I've been waking up at 6.30 and going to Morocco. You've been like, yo, like, chill the fuck chill out. Chill the fuck out. But if I told you I've been waking up every day at 6.30 because I'm going to check out stocks, it's just, it's perception. But I know it's gambling. But there's, like, kids getting fucked up. You know, RIP to this kid. I forget his name, but there's a kid who committed suicide because of a fucking uh, technical error on Robin Hood. So, of a technical error? But he just didn't understand. It's like, there's a, it's a slippery slope. So his account was coming up. He had a lot of buying power. So they let you, they, they'll, if you put in your bank account and all that stuff yeah. for stocks, they allow you to get end up getting a certain amount of buying power, which is like credit. It's like a loan. Yeah. So his account on his screen was showing that he was negative like $750,000 in his buying power. But he it was supposed to like, it's just waiting for the grace period over the weekend from Friday to Monday to change. Yeah. So on Monday, it would have adjusted and showed it at what it really would have been, which wasn't a, a big loss at all. But that fool ended up um, writing a suicide letter and offed himself fucking... What? Yeah. Gambling. Like, it's crazy. A lot of college kids, yeah. A lot of college kids are getting fucking... Addicted through Robin Hood. Robin Hood and then the accessibility, even for me, it's convenient, but it was through Cash App. What, what teenager and fucking college kid doesn't have Cash App? So it's like, it is, like, you got to be careful, like, you know, don't dump everything. I put I put in my pocket change. Really, yeah. to be honest with you, my pocket change might be a little bit a lot for a day. Yeah. But you know what I mean? I put it all through there. and um, You got to just be smart about it. But it is gambling. I feel like if you go to Vegas and end up betting on this lady getting a house, she gets off in jail or something. Yeah. If that does happen, I think the whole world would be too spooked to let that go, though. Yeah, I mean... So how would they do it without killing her? Do they do body double? COVID. No, I'm talking about body double. Like, nah, do they bro, just... that she's not... If, if she gets taken out... Before, um, you know, b before she hits trial, uh, it's it's because they're gonna fucking say that COVID's gonna fuck her up, and they're gonna she the infection got so bad because think about it, there's an uprise everywhere. It's way more contagious now more than ever. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but they still won't let O3 Greedo out. Yeah, they ain't gonna let him out, bro. Or Draco. They ain't let none of those fools out, dog. Just... Uh, they have they have very violent charges, bro. I guess, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's true, but... I was like, they have very violent... They're, they're letting out the fools that, like, you know, hey, you got caught with a coke sack, you know what I mean? We was going to keep you here for two months. We don't we don't know that. It, I, I, I mean, there's a couple fools that have gotten out of jail that, like, <clears throat> they were, like, close to getting out, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. if you were scheduled to get out this year, like, a lot of motherfuckers are getting out. It's cool out of hitting. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't know that, man. That's I don't live that life. That's not really... Dude, yeah. all right. Weed prices. One more time. Hey, we think we're complaining about weed prices? Imagine what weed's going for in jail right now. Oh, shit. That's right. Fools can get it in jail, huh? Dog, so... I'm, I wouldn't even know what the price system in there is. I, I guarantee you a eighth of some fucking exotic in in jail would be at least worth the, over $1,000. No fucking way. I believe it. A thousand dollars? Over a thousand dollars. That's a lot. It makes sense though. It really oh, does of make sense. A thousand in jail? I mean, like, what's a joint in jail? I don't know. At like least, at least hundred bucks. Yeah, at least hundred bucks. Of exotic? Of like exotic. Alright. Not not fucking whatever weed you could fucking get from the ground outside. You know what I mean? I'm talking about like How much would insane go for in jail? If you had to like, you know. An eight for a thousand at least. At, over. I say over. Oh, if it's branded? Yeah, like if I had cool auto or you had some insane in jail. Oh yeah, for sure. Over a thousand. Would a funky feel too? I don't know. That that would be <laughs> priceless. Like, yeah. It's priceless. Yeah, that 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 would be more like a little pipe that comes along with it. They wouldn't fucking you know. What do you think a puff bar goes for in jail? A puff bar? What's that? 
The little vape pens. Is are those? Is that nicotine? Yeah. With the flavor, that's the famous ones, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah everybody like dude, everybody. What do you think that goes for? Joe? It's the new jewels, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna say two fifty. No, that's way too cheap. That makes sense. Two fifty. Yeah. Is that a, it's legal product, huh? It's 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 legal, but it's like cigarettes. But it's like to get one in jail. You could probably buy one from your uh, you know, CEO. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I'm not busting up the drug. I don't go to jail. Hopefully. Knock on wood, but yeah, knock on wood. <clears throat> you see fools in there getting KFC, fucking on Instagram Live, and yeah, I do wonder that shit, man. Like how certain fools be getting, like you know, like it's because before, imagine the motherfuckers. Somebody have- pays their data outside, fool. Yeah, something I don't know. I, I'm not too hip to it, but I'm, I guarantee you that an eighth of exotic. If we're complaining about weed prices outside, what about real drugs? Imagine like if you want to do some coke in jail. Who would, but first of all, who would want to do some coke in jail, bro? You somebody. Know what I mean? Somebody. Somebody who's really rich. Okay, so let's say, like, again, dude, I, Jeffrey Epstein could be watching the news right now, just kicking it in a bunker underground, like. Yeah, there's a, Just watching the news going. There's hey, they're like, his assistant, he was like, he was like, hey, it's not the same without you here. I need you to come in, too. And she's yeah. like, nah, I like it on the outside. They're letting me slide. Nobody's really catching me up with shit. Let me be. Because if I got to be under here in this bunker, you got to be as well as this bunker. That's true, man. I do believe that there is an underground fucking war going on. And, and the, like, there's, a, there's a bunch of... There's I a, saw that on TLC or like the <laughs> history or a and or whatever. I watched a show about the fucking... 30, or Mr. Beast even on YouTube. There was like a luxury... A uh, 30-story community underground bunker looked dope as shit. And I was like, damn, how rich you got to be to have not just have something balling on top of ground, but have something balling underground? The floor already had an island. But see, here's the thing. If you have your own island, your underground bunker is like Shaq's house. But there's a... There's, <laughs> it's like Drake's there's, house. There's been talks of uh, of, of, of underground uh, that fool went facilities to for a minute, though. You know what I mean? Like, there's been... there. there is, I really do believe that there is a lot of underground facilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is public. And it's, uh, and you know, in, in, in those facilities, I probably think that that's where all, a lot of the crazy shit goes down. Like, that's where a lot of the people that committed suicide or they were important or people that didn't need, that fucked up on top, they get sent there. You know what I mean? It's probably just regular life down there with the rest of these other people. Like, that's probably where they do all the fucking, all the trafficking. What do you think it goes for underground? <laughs> weed, underground weed prices. There's weed prices in space. Probably, but do you think, do you think people at that level smoke weed? Yeah. You think like what Epstein smoked weed? Nah, I don't think Epstein smoked weed. I'm gonna say he has. Probably, no, he has. I don't think he does. He, I prob- he probably smoked with Dan Bilzerian. I want to say he looks Look, like the type of guy who would be like, "Hey, what's up, Dan?" There's like smoking weed, and there's like I've smoked weed in my past. People, they're like, they "Oh yeah, smoke. when I when I was your age, man, I used to smoke." Da, 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 those yeah. fools. That's not a smoker. You know that's what true. I mean? A stoner, a connoisseur. It's like. Though that fool that's fucking like 80 with a wine cellar or, or a yeah. champagne basement, and he's like, this pino, and that. Yeah. This sounds like fucking some of the people we know here. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's fucking been cultivated. It's a culture of, uh, man, you can't look, I don't, can't look at somebody like Epstein as somebody who needs to smoke daily. Yeah. And that, somebody that who day. wants an eighth of this in, in, in a bad situation and yeah. you can't get it, I can't get in, bro. I don't know, man. That's a whole different trip. Um, you know, you, we, you we, know, if we ever did one of those episodes where it's oh, like uh, E Zone and Cairo visit the dark web, I think me and you are too scared to do it because I haven't done it. I would like I've been well, I've been on the dark web, but like I never bought anything. I just saw. I was like, you can buy this here. I, I never went and even browsed. Nah, I saw it. I was like, oh shit, because I, I, I mean, did it from somebody else's computer yeah, just so, so they don't fucking track my IP address and all that shit. Yeah, that's how I did that it. Shit. I fucking I did that shit through the, through the car dealership computer. Nice. I used to work at the car dealership. To look at it? Yeah. Uh-huh. I was like, it could have been anybody. <laughs> I was like, fuck that. But, um, you What's know, that you were, browser you use? I forgot. You were talking about... Uh, uh, I know what browser you're I talking about. Know. It's like the one with the little eyes. Yeah. 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 I, I know nothing. And it's probably going to make it look it, like I like do you know. type in this code. I really boom. don't know. Like, you probably think I'm capping, but I really don't know. You, know, the, um, you were talking about trading stocks uh, earlier. And um, I kind of invested into something that... I really didn't know, and the only person that I know, it's like, well, everybody says Gary V brought trading cards back, and uh, Damon's been trading cards for a, for minute. Damon for a long scan. time. And uh, we recently bought the fucking uh, Mosaic fucking cards with B-Real. We went half on a car on a $700 fucking box, and uh, we ended up getting some pretty rare cards. He okay. pulled a Zion card, number one. Watching live pools 
is an adrenaline rush. It's so entertaining. I know why Damien does good on it. Like, even I, I watch it for Pokemon. I, I, Damien, oh, this is a thing? So, yeah. So there's streamers or YouTubers or whatever. They, they get boxes that are worth, like, say, five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 just for the booster box, where it has a bunch of those packs. And like you, the, the and packs you, I'll people... watch them for, like, an hour or two hours of just opening them. This has no, I don't gain anything. Like, it's just super addicting to watch. And like, but these booster packs are the that's packs what that you like guys a, did the basically. You guys all put in on have, them, right? Yeah, yeah. But not a store or a collector. Somebody who has something sealed from a long yeah. time ago. Yeah. Like that. Like what you guys got. Yeah. Is basically like, yeah, the, you, he live streamed it. So. Yeah, I, I should have done that, but I ended up getting some pretty rare cards, and uh, I'm gonna. Send we should them, link. Uh, send them to get them graded, and uh, I'm waiting on a couple other cards that I bought on eBay because they're kind of rare. This is this is the one I got. This uh, Luca. Yeah, Luca. Luca. Yep, just Luca. Yo, card. you know what's so good about Instagram? I like when they. Like, cause now your uh, NBA 2K rating is bi is bigger than what your career really is. You know what I mean? Oh, and like, is that, are they still so what's your rank? Yeah, they... So what you're rated in the game, like, affects your real life how people treat you. You know what I mean? Like, that's how serious 2K is, right? Yeah. So Luca, he started off, he was like a 69 or like a 70 something overall, and now he's like a 98, like a 97, and he did it in four seasons. So they're like, that's his big come up. Not the games he played. Like the path from his overall rating going from here to here, that's like that's how kids champion their favorite players now. They're like, yeah, dog, I play with him. He's an overall ninety seven. Or yeah, you play with Kobe. He's like overall, you know, ninety eight. What? I only play two K. I only will play two K with Kobe. Like, they're about to release the Kobe two uh, K twenty one uh, Mamba edition. I'm buy I'm literally buying that and a PS five just for that. Damn, PS5 is like what six hundred dollars? They haven't really announced the price yet. They leaked the, they leaked some prices foreign, yeah. but it's just whatever. It's spectacle. I think the Xbox is going to come out. It has to come out a few weeks before the PS5 you, takes to compete because they're you, not where looking. Where do you draw good. the line? They at, even, at what? Where, at, at how much would you pay for a PS5? Dude, I have an iPhone that's worth thirteen hundred dollars. Yeah, I mean we all have an iPhone. No, but that's what I'm saying. So, but you, why would you tri like if a PS5 is 800 bucks, it still costs less than what I just carry around on my yeah, phone. Yeah, but it's something that you don't use. It's something that you just entertain yourself. Yo, if, with. if I'm a, per a person who's buying a PS5, I, mean, I if you're that I, guy, I, ca I care about my PS5 way more than I care about my phone. But if I'm a gamer, if I'm a gamer, uh, gamer, of course, yeah, of course, yeah. If you, the quality, like I need the quality of I'm my game. I'm talking about an average man. But I'm just saying the average man cares about the quality of his gaming. To be better than the quality of what his phone is, just my my opinion. Because I I think my phone I needed the best quality for what I do with my job yeah. and everything or what you know what I mean for streaming when you're doing live streams and stuff you want the best, but people forget that the best iPhone Pro Max is like thirteen hundred dollar phone. Like that's like three P PS fours. That's true. Yeah, I didn't think about it like that, but you, you guess. yeah, if I had three PS4s in my hand, I'd just like picked them up. It was like this, and then I like picked up this, and be like, yeah, it's worth the same. Yeah, that's um, yeah, I guess I guess I don't I don't want it to be eight hundred dollars. That would be cool with five hundred dollars, you know. But you know what it is like the memory space, huh? Just trying to buy some stock in some Sony before it goes up. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> that's true. I bought a stock in Gap because they signed the Kanye really thing. Easy. Do you saw that? Yeah, I did. See so that. like it went up twenty seven percent in uh in a night. And like a day, just I'm gonna, like overnight. I'm gonna get on this Robin Hood app. <clears throat> nah, man, I don't think Robin Hood's the play though. I think Cash App's the one because it's like, uh, okay, so Robin Hood is the PS5, right? Yeah. And like Cash App is like my Nintendo Switch. Like I take it with me. Like it's cool. I don't have to be on the computer with the yeah. whole screen and all the charts. It's like Pokemon Go. Like I don't need the whole. Damn. They're yeah. Really, yeah. Well, I got banned from Cash App, so that's not happening. Oh, uh, yeah. That, that's 2020 for you right there. Well, yeah. uh, whatever year it happened, but you know what I mean? Yeah, it was not the move. Right? Y'all ever looked into, like, Bitcoin? Yeah, I had bought Bitcoin. I bought Bitcoin when I first figured you could buy it on Cash App, and uh, it went up, like, 10 bucks. Hey, you still have that Cashed out. You still have the video of that baby putting the dread in his mouth? Hell, yeah. My nephew. Shout out to my nephew, <laughs> Benji. My uh, dude. That, that, that kicked in my hustle this year. When I came back from tour... I was just so happy to like see the family and everything, but I didn't see everybody for like uh, like about four weeks. I like go to my mom's outside the house, so I didn't go in, but I didn't get to like hold my nephew. Yeah. And because uh, I just came back from tour, the same thing like you were saying yeah. earlier, like large gatherings. I was on tour, I had to yeah, just be Cairo. safe, just be safe. But you know what I mean? Um, the, yeah, I, like I love performing so much, dog. Like I really do. And um, yeah, so I, I didn't get to, do, but I finally got to play with my nephew, right? So I was like um, holding him, and it's just like something kicked into my head. It was like, "Yo, hustle!" Like, 
leave this fool something you know what i mean in yeah. life and like it, it, even in with the pandemic going yeah. on i found a new like like you gotta really apply your uh your strengths in life and i feel like i'm a somewhat smart guy especially with gaming i have yeah. focusing i was like yo let me just try to transfer that into stocks like let me like really yeah. take a swing at it I, did, I hit my first month goal like first time too and i was just like wow i did it and i was like all right cool keep going like i have like other goals i wrote down and i was like Let's yeah see. but that doesn't have anything to do with the baby putting the dread in her mouth no, nah, so that's actually happened while that, that epiphany happened. So oh. while I was doing that, this, this little baby, my, my nephew picked up my hair and was like trying to put it in his mouth and got yelled at. You were waiting for him to talk about it, dude? Well, because like I showed you the video. I was like, yo, Ray, you have to see this. And I, I walked over yeah, to his desk. You could have just said that. What? I didn't know where he was leading me. Yeah, I was no, like, no. like, see, you know, that's baby, true. This you is were, why you need a mic. This is you were exactly, saying something pretty, like, you know. This is exactly nice why over our family. break, yeah, was, over our break, I was like, this fool needs my Ray needs a mic. Like, it was, it was, he was going very deep with it, but I was just like, that still doesn't. Dog, I'm deep in culado. Like, Unless I'm, he's like getting to it. I'm fucking. Were you deep. getting to that point? How long have you known me? I got deep. I don't like at this point were you even gonna talk about that the hair I probably was past it like I was probably past it bro that was was, I was spaceship with my train of thought it was fucking hilarious and uh, we're gonna play that clip for you guys hopefully if we can get if we can get that clip yeah we got the clip send me that clip dog (laughs) that shit is hilarious but um I think where we at with our cap Twenty six. You want to? Yeah. The homie's dog tried to bite my hair earlier. He has a little baby pit bull who's like nine, uh, nine weeks old or whatever. Was he like hanging on? No, I was sitting on the couch and like my hair is like I unbraided it like the the last night, so it's like a little bit longer than usual. And this one just jumped up and bit the end of it and tried to like trust fall off my legs. It was just holding on to my hair. It was like (laughs) just trying to jump back. I was like this motherfucker. Man, puppies are cute, dog. I can't have I a know, dog. No, you can't get mad at a dog. Dog, I, again, like this whole E-Zone, if you, go, you guys obviously are a fan of E-Zone. You see E-Zone takes his dog on hikes and stuff. Man, I'm still so heartbroken about my other dog. It's not being in my life. Remember, I had my yeah. people. Like, I still can't get another dog. Everybody's offered to buy me dog. I know. I had I, People have offered a bunch of, like, dogs. I don't want a Frenchie. I'm not some Instagram whore. That's what, yeah, the homie offered me a Frenchie. Like, yeah, yeah. literally. Like, he was like, yeah, I'll give, give you a Frenchie. Dog. IG whores ruined that dog for me. I was like, man, too many. Is it too trendy to be a good dog to yeah, have now? I mean, I like the I thought two chains nothing against the dog. I love the dog, but I'm saying it's like. Shout out to two chains, actually, because he's the one who put on Frenchies to me, and he also gave me this jacket. Just a random flex on the <laughs> he, podcast. Did, did he put the jacket on you? No, but it was cool. I gave him weed. I gave him some dab av. Uh, 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 hey, what's the most expensive weed he fucking smoked? He smoked? Or I smoked? Yeah. I don't know. I know, man. He, I watched the most expensive is, but I can't off the top of my head give you that stat. I know. I don't. Eat. I know that we smoked a five pound golden wrap blunt. As a the bazooka. Yeah. yeah. Damn, like it's crazy. To think That's no, the most expensive. It's shit crazy I've to ever think ever nobody had. got COVID off that shit. That never would happen. That would never happen again. Like oh, again, where we said RIP to dabs. <laughs> RIP to the fucking dude. Everybody hit that shit. Challenger cones. Hey, I'm surprised nobody Bro. got herpes or nothing like that, dude. Like, cause yeah. you could have got anything, dude. What Yo, if that's where COVID started was from that blunt? <laughs> that blunt? L.A. Kush started COVID. <laughs> oh, my God. Shout out to L.A. Kush. We're kidding. Yo, uh, but... um, You got some Dr. Green Thumbs. You got some Pound Dolce. Got it, Brad. I think it's um, I think it's that time, though, man. It's been uh, it's been good to fucking check in with you guys uh, back in here on the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast. Shout out to you guys tuning in. Add that thumbs up. Hit that share. If you're listening to us on iTunes, leave that rate and review. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, check out all the High and Hungry merch at highandhungry.shop. Flavors by ezone.com. The Instagram is ezone the firm. And uh, the comedy gig got canceled on 710. So uh, postpone until next time. Coffin. And what about uh, what about you, Kyra? What do you got? Uh, man, like besides that radical shit I did last last night with the pop up show, that was kind of just I I have again just wanted to get that off. Um, you guys can follow me at Chiroglyphic. Shout out to everybody supporting. We don't smoke the same podcast. It's Chiroglyphics like hiero like hieroglyphics, yeah. but with a K instead of a H. If you're listening to this, um, stuff pops up on screens usually. There's stuff in the in the in our description. Uh, follow me on Twitch, uh, Cairo loves you. TV or twitch.tv slash Kyra loves you either or uh, go to High and Hungry buy some stuff get a candle buy some candy uh, watch Terp Talk on IG Live shout out to everybody who's watching this from that I'll start uh, taking phone calls soon yeah we're gonna take phone calls we're, we're still tinkering with this podcast thing again 
And uh, it's good to just be back and yeah, we get get these little convos off with you guys. I know it smooth. It uh, goes by smoothly. Uh, shout out to everybody who tweeted. Can't wait till Eddie comes. Oh yeah, that's gonna. The hour's gonna. Shout go out by. to Ray. Thank yeah. you, thank you. Yeah, shout out to Ray for holding it down. And uh, yeah, new high hungry on the way. And uh, we'll see you guys till next time. Peace out. Peace out. Carol loves you.